how to perform an evidence-based nutrition lifestyle anti-aging assessment, a comprehensive guide for chiropractors and other holistic professionals. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, I spent many years teaching chiropractors and other holistic practitioners how to do a proper nutrition lifestyle anti-aging assessment. I want to share some of this with you today. It's important because during a person's physical examination with their medical doctor, a lot of really good things happen. Medical doctors do a great job looking at you know, blood pressure and pulse rate and looking at your blood work to see if there's any problems or impending health risks. But then at the end of it, they don't really give you uh, feedback in terms of proactive lifestyle strategies that are highly meaningful in most cases. They do a very poor job of giving people exact advice around what specific dietary modifications they should be making, what should be the exercise program exactly, and what supplementation program the person should be getting. And also, uh, some people are taking supplements and their doctors don't even know the drug-nutrient interactions. So many holistic practitioners have sort of stepped up and are, and are filling this space, chiropractors, holistic nutritionists, some holistic medical doctors as well. But it's really important that the, this type of assessment is using the best uh, scientific evidence that's available today. It can't just be based on theory or nutrition philosophy or the person's belief. It has to really be rooted in the best science. So I wrote an article that explains what aspects should be included in a, in a nutrition lifestyle anti-aging assessment. So if you click on the link below, you'll see my published paper on this. But I, I'll just to hit some highlights. The, the assessment really requires knowing the person's age and their gender because the, as you get older, certain things happen in the body's genetic, uh, in, in the aging clock that you need to counter at certain points in the timeline. And certain things happen more for women than for men and vice versa. Also, you need to assess the person's current dietary, dietary patterns, which medic, many medical doctors don't look at closely. And also, sort of, you know, the body shape measurements, their exercise behaviors. Are there already signs and symptoms of nutrient deficiencies that are already manifesting themselves that no one's picked up on? And what about lifestyle practices and medications that are already depleting certain uh, nutrients from the body? That has to be assessed. Also, people already have certain health conditions or they may have a recurring health problem like urinary tract infections, let's say. And there are certain dietary and supplementation things that, can, that make sense for those people over and above whatever medications they might be taking. And then if they have a family history of a, of a particular condition that runs in their family, colon cancer, breast cancer, heart disease, and prostate cancer. We know that there's often a gene-environment interaction that these people need to it helped to put into place lifestyle practices that will suppress that gene to decrease the likelihood it will express itself in a disease state. And then you have to look at, you know, what medications the person's taking to make sure you don't give them the wrong supplements that might actually be dangerous for them. And look at other health conditions they have where certain dietary and supplementation practices would actually be contraindicated. Are they pregnant? Are they breastfeeding? Have they had an organ transplant? It all has to be factored in. And then if you can also, you know, incorporate the person's blood work and your analysis into the, the final objective measurements, now you're really able to give somebody a proper uh, feedback as to what their proactive lifestyle program should uh, entail. And that's important because the foods you eat, the exercise you do, the supplements you take, the, the uh, carcinogens you expose yourself to, they're the most important things that are going to determine how long you're going to live, how long you're going to be well and not have a, a critical illness show up. Those most important things. And it gets really, it's ignored during the annual uh, physical. So this paper that, I, that I, I, I wrote really summarizes it all. So what I would suggest that you do is um, read the paper. But you might want to know this, that, that this, I created an online version of that nutrition lifestyle anti-aging assessment for doctors to use now. But consumers like yourself can also access it uh, as well. So read the article, then click on the link below and you'll see all the details. And you'll also see how you can... Uh, click on to the online assessment if you want to do it on yourself to see where you stand exactly. So if you go to machinohealth.com, um, you will also see my other research review papers. You'll see other footage from my live seminars to click to the online uh, health test that we talked about. And a, a lot of other resources I've created that are there, they're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific uh, uh, references so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any subject that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.